Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Playing some Dons of Burrow today with the uh, the Rocco skin, which is pretty cool. This will be my first time using it, actually. A Morgan Le Fay. I haven't seen a Morgan Le Fay on this map at all. In fact, though, there's a lot of mages that I haven't played against yet, and I've played a fair amount of duel games. Um, so here's picks and bans for you guys. A lot of people, uh, a lot of people, oh my god, it's Sam. A lot of people uh, ask for picks and bans. I know I say this in most of my videos, but, you know, I'm just trying to make sure everyone knows that I am starting most of my videos in picks and bans now. So you guys can see that because a lot of people requested it. So I think we're going to start the normal stuff here. Two tier trans transcendence into chalice of healing. Um, yeah, we get the shell. We get the shell here. <clears throat> uh, what is up, Sam? What is up, you sexy Samlander? I, I actually forget what he says. I think it's, what is up, you sexy Samlanders? I think that's it. Uh, anyways, we're going to jump right into this one. So uh, I'm not going to talk too much about it because I did talk about it a lot in the Kuzumbo video. In fact, the Kuzumbo video was like 99% me talking about it. But uh, we, we are monetized on YouTube now, so that's exciting. Making money off of it, so we're definitely going to start uh, trying to make more content and all that good stuff. Uh, I appreciate you guys clicking on the video, by the way. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, honestly. I feel like I started saying that a lot more like uh telling you guys i hope that you had a wonderful day and stuff like that um and then i kind of just stopped a little bit like only for a few videos but i kind of just stopped i don't know but uh, i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and how this matchup goes by the way i have literally no idea uh i would say that i'm favored maybe slightly but not by a lot okay he did definitely out clear me. Also, he didn't start a chalice. Well, he went Bancroft, so of course he's not going to have a chalice. But he didn't start a chalice. So he's basically 100 gold in the hole off those potions. I'm assuming he will go a chalice, but I don't know. I, I can't remember. Like I feel like a lot of the other dual creators don't like chalices, like Sam and Rexy. But I, I could just be making that up entirely. Or at the very least, they don't like them when they're behind or whatever. I literally go a chalice in like 99% of the time. Like, whether I'm winning, losing, whether I have healing or not. I just, I don't know, dude. It's literally a free 750 HP. What more could you ask for? What more could you ask for? So I guess the early game of this, I mean, it's no different than usual. Usual duel, I suppose. But the early game of this is just going to be us farming up as hard as we can. Pretty standard stuff. Maybe I should have backed there. Because I'm giving up red pressure by doing this. But honestly, I don't care. It really does not bug me at all. To give up red pressure here. Uh, it's definitely XP that I want. But uh, I kind of would also just like to get my stacks online as fast as possible. And potentially even put myself in a good spot to invade him. But... Whether whether Donza can beat Morgan Le Fay at this stage of the game is kind of irrelevant because Transcendence does nothing to Bancroft's. This his item is what the I did not know he made a noise when he jumped. But anyways, tra uh, Bancroft's is just infinitely better than Transcendence. It's actually the only thing that makes mages like good right now is uh, Bancroft's and more specifically Bancroft's claw, of course. So we do have to be careful of him just ulting, and Morgan Le Fay has healing on her ult, and she has Bancroft, so we have to be really scared of if when we get her low HP, she's going to start healing a lot, and she's going to start dealing a ton of damage. Well, that's just how Duel is sometimes. Sometimes it's not so much about the god matchup, and sometimes it's just about, you know, where you guys are in your build, and how your build does against her, their build. That sort of thing. I think... I think I just go ability-based Donza here. Frag out. I think I'll have enough damage to, like, burst him late game. That's the idea, anyways. Because I'm definitely going to need to burst him. I don't think I'll really be able to stick to him that, that well. Morgan Le Fay has excellent self-peel. Where did he go? Maybe the neutral camp up here. Either way, I'm gonna go up here to make sure we get it.
Nice, got the neutral camp. So we're barely down in gold, which is good, because he did get the red, and he has been out clearing me a little bit. But that's not that relevant, because... Like, I think he has... He had one little, little camp over me, but then I just got that mid one. We've traded mids, and we keep getting our backs, so... Lots of farming in the early game here. Mm -mm. There's not really too much to do, honestly. Like, 9.5 patch kind of killed the early game aggression. If if both players don't want to fight too hard, like, if you just want to trade blows here and there and then kind of walk away, there's pretty much nothing to, uh... Like, you can't burst them or anything. We're gonna go Pestilence this game just because of all our healing. He's almost... I'm almost... I'm almost 100% sure he's going to go triple lifesteal build and Morgan Le Fay has healing on our ultimate, so we are giving up pressure on the red once again, which this one definitely hurts more than the previous one, for sure, but uh, I still kind of just don't care, to be honest. It's not a big deal to me. We should be contesting the next one, though, for sure. As you can see, like he has 200 gold above me. That's not a lot. It's really He did opt to go to the chalice, by the way. So he is just 100 gold behind me in potions. So he's got like a 200 gold lead, 250 gold, something like that. And, uh, but really only, you know, minus 100 off of that, so. Alright, so now that we got our transcendence stack just about, and we got this pestilence to remove some of his healing, I'd say we definitely have some fighting potential. I don't know if we can actually kill him, because we both have defense, so we're both going to be super tanky. But, uh, we can trade. We can definitely trade some, some blows. is a bit of a fast character when she has our three active we're gonna go straight to our our buff here farming is almost always better than poking your opponent if your the pokes doesn't result in a kill or like a, a normal lead like unless i'm stopping him from getting farm or i'm killing him there's just kind of no reason right here what do we want here honestly that's my question do we go toxic do we go crusher i think toxic is good i mean not crusher brawler is a man i think toxic is good but i really want to try full ability based don's a bro what relic do we want he doesn't have anything purchased yet so we're gonna wait because i don't think there's anything immediately obvious that i need to buy here Although onking his ult could be like, a, could be really helpful for the burst. But then again, I'm going anti heal, so I like a lot of anti heal. Did get the red. We're gonna lose a couple of those creeps that we chose not to kill. We could come do this. Ow. Chill a little bit here. We chill a bit here. I can't dive him. That's the thing. Maybe if I bought a second relic. Like, if I went horrific there, that could have been a play. Go thorns. Thorns isn't bad. Sprint? We just try to chase him down and gun him down. The only problem with that, though, is, like, if I'm not going an auto attack build, that's definitely less efficient to do. But less efficient doesn't necessarily mean bad. So... Just try to go do bull demon, why not? Send our little things over there so he doesn't see us. Although I don't think he's in a position to stop this anyways. Mm -hmm. Alright, 
right, let's go straight into a Hydras. Sounds good to me. Hydras, we'll grab this. He's going to push that wave, no problem. Uh, I'll probably skip my blue. He could even invade my blue, potentially, but that's also no problem. Just going to grab our speed buff. Ooh, get, this, get the gold off these creeps. Nice. She doesn't have anti-heal, which she doesn't need anti-heal, but... I do have the bull demon buff. Okay, we're gonna chase him out of here a bit. Oh, that's so unlucky that our thing didn't hit him. Alright, at this point he's kinda just wasting my time uh, on the bull demon here. So we're gonna go over here. And we're gonna auto attack this bad boy. <clears throat> I also sorry if you guys heard that super loud noise like a freaking sp spacecraft just took off next to my driveway otherwise known as a car a vehicle hmm. um I think he accomplished his goal there mainly okay well I don't know. I don't know what that was. I think I was gonna say I think he accomplished his goal mainly because of uh, the fact that he was delaying my dual, my bold demon. But I don't know. This is like my third F six in a row. I'm just gonna make this a two part two parter. I will see you guys in the next part. I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, here we are on to the next next uh, game. Here we're actually getting somebody who's higher MMR than us. Uh, he is playing Loki, which is probably, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this matchup, to be honest. And it's Twig, okay. <laughs> what is up, Twig? How are you? I'm, I know you're probably not watching this video, but what is up, man? Uh, okay, interesting. I don't really know how exactly I'm supposed to play this matchup. I played against the Loki as Donza once, but he kind of just inted into me the whole game. And then F6. So, we'll see. We shall see. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Also, I probably will start doing a lot more two-parters like this in the in the future if I can't get games, you know, like if I'm recording for a while. And for whatever reason, for one reason or another, I can't get a game. I will probably do uh, two-parters like this more often. And as far as, like, Sam F6ing last game, I think he F6ed, honestly. Because uh, he either just didn't think he would win that matchup late, or... What's it called? Uh, thought that I would snowball after that kill. Either way. Pick up the speed buff here. I think we should just double buff every game as Donza, I think. His clear is pretty good, I think. If I'm even, I don't even think I'm using his one correctly, though. Isn't there a way to... Okay, yeah, there we go. We, we made it get hit by two of the, the bombs, at least. <clears throat> There's a rushing soul eater. Interesting. No, dang, we missed two creeps in gold there. I was trying to only miss one, but fortunately. I've been liking the double buff less and less lately, honestly. I still enjoy it for my OCD's sake, but definitely been liking it less and less. I seriously doubt we have any kill potential whatsoever in the early game here. Because, uh, you know, the, the Vitality Patch, also known as 9.5, just ruining everyone's fun. I don't know. I've never, I've never faced a Soul Eater Loki, actually. I've faced, like, a Bumba's ones, like, late game, but I've never faced a Soul Eater Loki before, so... It should be interesting. I've certainly never faced a Soul Eater Loki as Dawn's a Burrow. I don't even know if this matchup's good for me or not. Honestly, uh, my prediction is that it's not, but we'll have to see how it plays out. I might change my mind on that. Not just whether I win or lose, it's like, it's more than that, you know? Because sometimes you can, you know, most of the, like, pretty good players can tell, even if they win, that that matchup was not good for them. Or if they lose, that, that the, you know, if you're, <laughs> if you're not ego boosted, most of the good players can tell, even if they lose, that sometimes the matchup is in their favor. But unfortunately, due to the circumstances. I think we're gonna just let. I don't know. We're gonna let that one creep go in, but we're not. Oh, that's unfortunate. 
Probably should not have used that. We actually do have a video up against it. For, for all my new YouTuber, or my new YouTube viewers, we actually do have another video versus Twig. Tsukiyomi versus uh, Chiron, if you want to check that out. I won't spoil what happens, but we do have one other game versus Captain Twig. He's a very good dueler. He's obviously a pro player. For those of you who don't know him, he's an SPL pro player. But on top of that, he's also just a, a veteran dueler. I say veteran as in he's been playing since, like, ever. As far as I know, he's been playing this stuff for a very long time. Right now, he's probably perfectly content with me with doing what he's doing because I'm not stacking. Hmm. Well, we definitely win this because he's going Unum here. If he uses any mana, I'll probably ult him. can just ult the wave too to be honest that wasn't my plan i was gonna try to ult him but he kind of just ran away immediately and i ended up proxying myself uh out of those creeps right there actually and when i say proxy because i know that, that people may not know uh, basically what i mean by that is like i actually didn't kill those creeps and i went and i left long enough to where um those creeps ended up my creeps ended up killing their creeps right and I didn't get the XP for it, so I lost two minions there. But I am pushing his wave under tower here. I am pushing the entire wave under tower. We got the red buff. You know, it's whatever. It's not that big of a deal. One thing he did have going for him there, and I don't know if it was his, his intention or not, but I did not have my full transcendence that whole time, so I wasn't stacking. But that's not the biggest of deals in the, the later stage of this game if I don't get punished for it. It's not a big deal at all. I will get my stacks either way. Noticing he's running out of mana because he doesn't have the transcendence, but his defense has mana, and that's certainly going to help him out with that. We are ahead in gold by a bit, and I think he just got the... Oh, I missed my thing. <laughs> I was looking at the numbers at the top. Uh, I think he just got that mid-camp too, but we just got this. So yeah, we're ahead in gold, but I think we're supposed to be ahead, to be honest. Loki doesn't really have the most amazing early game. Like, it's not terrible, but it's certainly not good. I'm just gonna clear this camp off the off the map here. We're gonna back up, buy a breastplate. Sweeter breastplate. That, that's 30% cooldown right there. 10% pen, lifesteal. That's actually kind of dangerous for me. I don't know, we'll see. Just depends on how aggressive he is. Because I have this thing where, like, I pretty much always underestimate Loki's damage. Like, it's just, a, I don't know, it's just always been a thing for me. I always underestimate Loki players, and I just attempt to walk over them, because usually you can. But uh, I also die a lot sometimes, because I'm like, there's no way he's going to fight me here, and then he does. Or, like, there's no way he can fight me here, and then he can. <laughs> so, yeah. Definitely... Need to show a little bit of respect because it's a good player and also because it's my arch nemesis Loki. We're just gonna. I need anti heal for the soul eater, but at the same time I need damage and also the cooldowns really nice on it. So I don't know. I w I think I'm. I should have went anti heal into hydras, but I'm gonna go hydras into anti heal. I think. We're doing fairly decent here. I don't think he can fight me. There's just no way. Oh, my one missed. Does my rocket follow him in stealth? It does. Oh, my God. Yeah, he, he ulted over it. Dang, I really think I could have killed him if I landed that one earlier. Or that one, but I didn't miss that. He just avoided it, you know? Bro, the, the rocket follows him in stealth. Secret Loki count? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, even though that is a really good thing, honestly. Like, that is super good. I still don't know if I have the matchup or not. And that's just my lack of, like, expertise on Donzo. Like, I have barely played him in duel. And no one... I've never went against him, really. I've probably played against this guy, like, twice. So... And I very much so know what, uh... 
I very much so know exactly what Loki is capable of. Well, actually, I don't, but I know he's capable of blowing my mind, so there we go. I know for a fact that I don't know for a fact <laughs> is basically what I was just saying right there. We're going to back up here by our Hydras. Let's go and brace her. I think I either go Thorns or Aegis or something of that nature. Mm. Yeah, we'll go Thorns. Why not? I think it's decent. It's kind of greedy not going Beads or Aegis, but and maybe, and maybe that'll be my downfall this game. But you live and you learn, you know? You live and you learn. Sometimes you make mistakes. Sometimes you lose games to Lokis. It is what it is, man. Oh, he can no. See, there's the there's the counterplay right there. See, Twig's just smart, honestly. Or is he? <laughs> right after I get done talking about how smart Twig is, he just does a dumb play. Honestly, that wasn't dumb, uh, because he doesn't know how much damage Donza does in duel. I mean, that's normal. Also, he probably didn't notice that I had thorns. To be fair, I mean that's a play I would have made, honestly. So <laughs> I can't even make fun of him. I probably would have done the exact same thing. But as you guys can see, Don's is not too bad in Duel. I'm not trying to, you know, because I don't know, honestly. I'm not trying to say he's the best by any means. Of course he's not. No one plays him. But uh, he's a viable pick for sure. He's definitely good. He's definitely decent. Alright, so we're going to need some anti-heal here. Let's just go Toxic. Even though I'm going an ability-based build, Toxic Blade is 60% anti-heal. And I don't need my abilities to be up to, to apply it. I don't need to land my abilities to apply it. And it gives me movement speed. It gives me some HP. Like, I don't know. Overall, Brawlers is certainly better DPS. Or it's better burst damage at the very least. Not DPS. But, uh, I don't know. I'm just more comfortable going Toxic here regardless of my ability-based build. Because it also, even if you are going an ability-based build, that doesn't mean you can't throw in just a... Just a tad bit of attack speed, it really helps your character out. That's kind of like one of the reason, one of the many reasons why a lot of people really liked um, Crusher for a long time, and still do. But, oh, hello. And still do, because Crusher uh, gave some attack speed. Like, it goes into your ability-based build, but it gives you some a little bit of attack speed there, so... My assumption is that he's either backing here or just going straight to Bull Demon. He certainly could have went to Bull Demon. I didn't clear that whole wave, but that's okay. Nope, he's not here. We're about to get our another passive whatever. Yeah, as you can see down there by my little bag of gold. I just need 18 more gold. There we go. That gives us more power, more physical power. Always, always useful, of course. I'm assuming he'll think I'm on Bull Demon and then try to come defend it, right? Hmm. I'm gonna stop his back here. for the simple fact that I can, and then we're gonna run straight back to this. This gives us more pressure. If you, Honestly, if he runs straight here, I don't think he'll make it in time. But even if he did decide to run straight here after backing, which he didn't decide to back, he wouldn't, he wouldn't be able to make it, so. All right, he didn't decide to back. He's playing really greedy right now. He's playing very greedy, honestly. He's kind of just giving... He's letting me do whatever I want. <laughs> not saying there's that much he could do about it, but the little tiny things he may or may not be able to do about it, he's not doing, right? So... Alright, 
Alright, he's just going for a speed buff here. We're gonna clear the wave, kill this phoenix. He might go on me. Looks like he chose not to. There's not a ridiculous amount of stuff he can do here, honestly. This matchup definitely is looking more Don's a favorite here. Maybe I'll just go Oboe here for the simple fact that I have so much pressure. Like, I know I said I was going an ability-based build, and I would have, and I might still, but... The thing about the ability-based build is it's not the greatest Titan-killing thing. It's for PvP, really. And we kind of already got to his Titan. We kind of already PvP'd, you know? So I think we just go Oboe here. I'm gonna go Oboe, a Power Pot, and Multi Potions, and try to and just try to push my lead here. If I die with the Power Pot, that's definitely going to be bad for me, but... The Power Pot helps me more with the uh, Oboe proc, too, because Oboe, you need power. Also, Hydra scales off power, Oboe proc scales off power, so... Definitely a pretty good buy here, I think. Yeah, I think we just pressure here. I, I, I don't think there's anything he can do about this. Could be wrong. I'm honestly being nice to him by fighting him. I could just kill his Titan. I could literally just hit his Titan. Like this. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, I don't know what I was what I was on earlier because this matchup, there's just no way. There's no way it's Loki favored. The uh, Don's is just pretty good against melees. Like I said in the, I think I said in the first video, the first uh, recording or game rather, yeah, the first game that I actually left open Bologna. And I think I did this game too. He might have banned it though because I think it's a decent matchup for Bologna. Oh, that had us on Cap again. Nice. We're back to Cap MMR after all the it, the meme videos. Go ahead and say GG to Captain Twig. Good luck, and next. <clears throat> um, anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. That is a two-parter. Let me know, Let me know, guys, if you did make it to the end of the video, let me know how you feel about the two-parters, because some days, like, I try not to do the two-parters, to be honest, but it does make for longer videos, and also, um, some days it's just hard, because some gods are so good, not necessarily Donzo, <laughs> but sometimes some gods are so good, and the players in the queue are you know, not the greatest, that it's really hard to get, like, a solid, long, good game. And so I noticed some of my videos are, like, 14, 15, 16 minutes, and th that's okay, but, like, you know, I would like to make them about, like, 18 plus, or around the 20-minute mark or something, if possible. Obviously, the two-parters would be over that, but let me know what you guys think about the two-parters. I appreciate you guys for watching. It does mean a lot to me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till next time, guys. Goodbye, bro.